Hi guys, hope you're all well. If you're new to Siege Studios, we're a premium miniature painting service with over 30 artists. Here at Siege we offer four painting levels, ranging from our bronze, premium gaming quality, up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. Welcome, Disciples of Chaos. We have an awesome showcase for you guys to check out today. Uh, this is a full Black Legion Army commission, which we've had the absolute pleasure of working on for our clients. It's been completed by Kev, one of the artists here at Siege. Um, and uh, without any further delay, let's jump in and have a look at what we always start with, which are the characters from the Force. We are honoured and greeted by five amazing characters for this Black Legion commission and uh, Kev has really pushed the boat out on these to give them all their independent uh, sort of glory as a character and really as a whole make them look incredible altogether. Um, so we've got five characters to start off with. We obviously have a Dark Apostle, a Chaos Sorcerer, the Man, the Legend, Abaddon, uh, the Warmaster. Um, We've also got a Lord Executioner and a Master of Possession. So let's start uh, and work up to the, the big man himself with the lackeys for the Dark Apostle. Uh, we've got the uh, fabled book carrier here uh, for uh, the Dark Apostle. Uh, Kev's done a great job of uh, painting this. All the intricate little details on this poor little chap that's uh, chained to the book there, uh, painted really, really cleanly. Uh, that sort of face mask thing there that he's got, obviously all weathered and beaten uh, with all the little pipes and cables all painted. Painted. All the little candles there all done as well and obviously the, the book carrier uh, with a nice bit of uh, sort of uh, age added onto it. Uh, nice purple cloak there as well just to complement the red of the candles. Just looks really really lovely. So that's just him. Uh, then we have the other lackey that's uh, with the uh, sort of uh, smoking brazier or flaming brazier. Again you can see here Kev's done a lovely job of just glinting at those little fires there in that brazier. Uh, red little lens on his face as well and uh, a nice really pallid desaturated skin tone on all of that. Uh, again nice purple robe you can see all the sort of uh, scrolls and things all done with multiple stages of highlighting and leather work as well which is really lovely um then we have their humble leader. Uh, we have the uh, Dark Apostle. Again, an incredible miniature. I always, always love this model. Uh, just really nice attention to detail on this. All the flames, all the scrolls, all the armoured areas. Uh, just really exceptional painting here. Super, super sharp highlighting uh, and nice colour choices. I do love the dripping kind of like flame goo from the book, which is really cool. Uh, again, he's got a nice purplish hue to the skin tone there just to show that evil sort of etheric energy that's undoubtedly flowing through him. Um, again, really, really awesome pose, uh, which the model is just phenomenal. Uh, absolutely love this from when uh, when it very first came out. So that's just this awesome Dark Apostle. Um, then we'll move forward through and have a look at the Sorcerer. Again, a really awesome Sorcerer uh, sculpt. Uh, super, super like this when it first came out as well. I love that's kind of like the use of the, the chaotic power that's just energy coming from his uh, hand, which is really cool. Again, all the little details uh, are all fully painted on the miniature. You've got a nice eye there in the center of his chest. I love the teal cloak. I think that works extremely well with uh, with the rest of the colorway on the model. Uh, again, you've got this awesome backpack with these two kind of like dragon heads, uh, just with all the eyes and things all fully painted on there. A nice scattering of eyes across this chap's armor as well. Um, you can almost imagine them moving when, uh, when if you, if you were real. Uh, but again, really, really awesome sorcerer uh, to join this force. Uh, and then we have the uh, Lord Executioner. Uh, again, a really cool model, very barbaric, obviously, just all those sort of bones and skulls and things just all on his armor. The poor, unfortunate Blood Angel on the backpack. Uh, and then we've got the, uh, the heads that he's just holding there from the hair and this massive axe that he's wielding, which is just, uh, you do not want to be on the receiving end of that. Uh, again, all the leather work done through various stages of highlighting as well, which is really nice. Uh, just to touch upon the basin, we've got like this almost desert-like kind of basing scheme, which is really cool. Um, then we have uh, a master of possession to aid and guide any demonic entities that uh, our client wishes to feel on the tabletop. Again, done to a very, very high standard with all the little details across the miniature fully painted and highlighted. Uh, exceptional attention to detail on the little eyes and things, like for example, on the backpacks. Um, um, 
Again, the nice glowing eyes, both on his and his sort of uh, skull mask, and also on the stave, uh, all the little totems and things, all fully painted. And again, eyes and things on the armor. Just a very, very cleanly executed miniature. I do hope you like him. And then we have the big man himself, Abaddon. Uh, what an incredible model! Obviously, the sculpt is great, uh, but uh, just an incredible miniature uh, to lead this Black Legion force. You couldn't really have a Black Legion army without Abaddon, could you? Uh, the uh, unfortunate uh, Ultramarine on the base as well which is just uh, a poor chap and again you can see that uh, everyone's a lot if you're unfamiliar with the abaddon model then uh, then i hope this gives you a good understanding of how incredibly detailed the miniature is um, if you are familiar with it then all the things that you'd expect done on him as you can see have been done we've got that very the draknayen his blade obviously with a nice blend on there as well all done with a brush uh, and if we just move around so you can see the, the reverse of the model we've got that flaming brazier there just on the base lovely attention to detail on that this matte sort of almost very dark insidious cape here that he's got as well uh, again all the little totems skulls and everything all fully painted on the uh, trophy rack uh, the talon of horus uh, with a nice amount of aging added to it they've uh, got this vast eye on his shoulder with a nice sort of uh, tonal variation on that eye uh, and then if we move around the front you can see with the skin tone as well he's got quite a nice pallid tone to match the rest of the skin tones across these characters uh, but with some reds and purples just added in there just to add that evil evil uh, vibe and energy that you expect from this big man um, yes do hope you really liked uh, all the characters in this front end section of the showcase guys uh, there's loads of infantry coming to get ready hope you like them ever so much So just before we get into all of the Terminators that are in this force, we have all of the Traitor Marines, the Black Legion Space Marines for you guys to check out. 30 of them, three squads of 10, um, nice selection of different weapon loadouts and flexibility for our client, which is really, really cool. Uh, let's jump in and have a look at them. We'll start with one of the unit champions uh, just to get going. Uh, again, really, really awesome new Space Marine or Chaos Space Marine kit uh, with loads of options, as I'm sure you guys are probably aware of. Obviously done in that really dark, black armor that you expect black legion nice accents of red throughout the force as well just really do like the, uh, the scattering of that warm red obviously you've got the uh, loincloth here uh, that's obviously got all that red sort of trim to it and uh, just brass little details at the bottom obviously he's got like a belt on as well with a nice red in a sort of colorway which is really cool again you can see all of the uh, sort of edging on the armor has all been done through that dark obsidian kind of color scheme which is really nice every bit of gold trim highlighted through multiple stages all of the uh, the black armor as i said fully highlighted lighted um, which is really cool nice purple sort of tone on the skin of the hue of this uh, of this champion as well uh, but just a really nice super clean finish and we'll pull forward some of the weapons in this front squad and i'll go through a couple at the back as well again you can just see this auto cannon here I do really love the new uh, Chaos Space Marine kit. You can see all the lenses there done in red also with just a bit of a glint in them and a bit of a, of a gloss on them just to give them a bit of a sheen. Uh, and again, all the ammo there on the backpack, the extra ammo round, uh, ammo tank for the uh, for this uh, amazing, huge auto cannon. Uh, again, a, a lot of nods back to the original auto cannon, the metal one, uh, which is just really nice on the old, old, old Space Marines, which I do like. It's one thing I particularly do like about the uh, the newer kits at GW producing a lot of heritage in the uh, kind of drawing forth from from sort of the older models and kits which is really lovely obviously we've got the orange plasma go across this force and you'll see that later on in the terminators also but uh, just a really really nice clean execution across all of the miniatures all of the uh, gold trim on the armor all painted and highlighted through various stages and toned and shaded as well which is really cool uh, again you've got that purplish hue to the skin which is just really nice on these guys uh, and then we'll pull forward just some of the regular uh cow space marines again in various different poses of firing or shooting uh, or just generally being a heretic in some way or shape or form uh, again all the leather work there with the multiple stages of highlighting also and again they've all got their transfers as you'd expect obviously there's no transfer on that side but um there's a, they've all got their sort of uh, eight pointed star transfers uh, i love this guy here with the belt feed i just think it looks really really he just does not care at all whatsoever which is just awesome uh no need for a magazine uh yeah but i love all the little bits of cloth and rope just around the leather pouches and things also just making them look a bit ragtag which is, i think what what cow space marines no matter which legion they're from should look like because uh, they're not as pristine or clean as uh, as, as other marines or loyalist marines should i say uh 
So that's just one of the other Marines. We'll pull forward this chap here. He's got a drum mag on his bolter. Do really like that. I like the way that they've got a lot of intricate, a lot of intricacy and variety in the kit as well. So that you have different types of magazines, the different sort of details on bolters. So they're not as uniform as as obviously Firstborn or Primaris. Uh, then we'll jump to the back squads. I'll just pull forward a few of each of those just so you can see the consistency among these 30 models. Again, another champion here with that top knot in red, which is really cool. We've got that purplish tinge to the hue of the skin, which is just great. Um, again, all the ammunition and everything all done in that complementary gold to the rest of it, just to make that stand out. Again, you've got all the transfers as I've explained and shown already. And uh, again, the loincloth's done in a really, really nice uh, sort of royal red, which I just think really helps Black Legion. Uh, they need Need a splash of a dev a vibrant colour and a warm colour. Um, so just another chap here with a bolt gun with a uh, drum mag. Again, you can see the same consistency on the edging, all the trim, all the areas of detail. And again, we've got this desert style kind of basing, which I just think really works quite nicely. It contrasts the miniatures really well. Um, and then pull forward another plasma gun here, just so you can see that lovely orange plasma glow that's, uh, that Kev's done across the force. Do absolutely love these. They really, really are uh, a nice rendition of some Black Legion for our client. And then we'll pull forward one or two from this squad on the right at the back here. So you can see these again, you've got this awesome ammo sort of hopper thing on his backpack which i absolutely well not backpack on his waist sorry that i absolutely love um just straight into the bolter and uh, he's just looking for another victim but you can see all the little knives and things all fully highlighted the uh, pommel and the um all of the uh the, the sort of wrap around the handle and the knife all highlighted as well again really really nice a clean execution on these guys and we'll pull forward the champion i'm not too happy about his uh, trophy rack addition uh, being a blood angel fan but never mind uh, and again you can see uh, all the little bits of detail just on him all fully painted and highlighted uh, we'll move that around just so you can see the consistency of the models two models uh, but kev's done a stellar job on all of these do hope that you like them ever so much guys uh, that's all of the uh, Traitor Marines. Up next, we've got the Terminators. Get ready. There's lots and lots of them. See you guys in a sec. So next up in the swathe of Black Legion models, we have got some awesome obliterators and also two greater possessed. Uh, all of these models from the Shadow Spear box, if you guys remember that box, a really cool box that came with a lot of uh, new models. Um, let's jump in and have a look at some of these awesome heavier troops that are part of this Black Legion force. You see Kev's done a great job of picking out every little detail on this miniature and it has lots. <laughs> so it's absolutely covered in... Uh, well, armor, flesh, weaponry, uh, the lot. So it's just got lots and lots of things on it that uh, you have to spend a lot of time and attention on. And uh, Kev's done a great job of that. I've got all the pipe work with chevrons on them. You've got loads of like, little eyes and things on the armor uh, and also on different areas of the flesh work. All the lenses are done in a nice red as well to denote those, which just works extremely well. Uh, but just a really, really nice selection of, uh, of details and a uh, fun model to paint if you are looking for something a little bit different to, uh, to tackle with a brush. Uh, so that's just the first of the obliterators jump across and have a look at the second one uh, armed with a plasma weaponry with loads of uh, teeth coming out of it there as you can see uh, but just an awesome awesome miniature again you've got obviously all the bolters on the wrists uh, and you've obviously got another set of uh, almost flame or melter weapons there on that wrist as well uh, really like all the flesh tones there you can see that nice pallid kind of skin color with the raw red uh, viscera there on those bits that are ripping and, and changing as the weapons mutate. Um, obviously you've got a heavy bolter just sticking out of uh, that part there as well, which is really cool. But I do love the attention detail around some of the metal lugs and things that are protruding from the thighs and legs. So you can see the red raw sort of flesh just around those. Uh, and again, you've got the little, uh, the mutation parts, you've got the little uh, sort of nails just coming out the feet as well, which is really, really cool. Uh, so that's just this awesome, awesome obliterator. Then we're gonna move on to two of my favorite Chaos models, which are the Greater Possessed. Um, do really really love these I think they're great um, just if we get to focus for you guys you can see that Kev's again done all those little details on the armor so all the teeth and maws and eyes and everything are all fully painted uh, which are just really really nice you've got this huge sort of mutated arm claw uh, crab claw kind of thing here uh, which is really cool uh, that obviously it's just got lots of sort of uh, red tones on it and purple tones on it to, to sort of blend it into the skin which is really cool all the little pipes and things just in the flesh are all painted also we've got this huge maw just in the hand as well that's all the teeth and everything painted on there and then you've got the lenses on the I 
say helmet, but it's probably his head now. Um, just all, all painted also as well. Uh, I do love these sort of tentacle things that are coming out the backpack also, but you can see every little bit fully painted through various and multiple stages of highlight into a super high standard. So that's the first of the two great to possess. And then we've got the very iconic miniature. And I do think this will be a very iconic model in the many, many years to come. Uh, this really uh, imposing charging uh, greater possessed model uh, with a huge claw there at the front with those uh, sort of almost like scything talon kind of nails uh, and then this huge mutated arm here that's obviously got loads of blood effects painted onto it where he's just uh, dispatched somebody but you can see all the pipes and everything all fully painted on the side of the head uh, got the lenses done in a nice red as well to really make those stand out on the black obsidian armor then you've got some eyes and things on various parts of the miniature uh, and all the bone work is also done across all those areas also uh, so that's just these two greater possessed and two obliterators And finally, we have all of the Black Legion Terminators, uh, and there are 20 of them in this force. Uh, so some seriously hard-hitting troops that are joining this uh, this army and to, to fight by Abaddon's side. Um, just really, really nice models. The new Terminator kit is uh, is really fun to work with, and uh, and obviously just the just for all the different weapon loadouts and proportions and things. They're really, really good. Uh, so let's have a look through some of these awesome, awesome Terminators. Um, Again, in their obsidian color scheme, which is just really nice. Uh, absolutely covered in details, like all the other Chaos models in this force that you've seen uh, throughout the video. Uh, obviously got a chain fist here, which is really, really cool. And then uh, you've got um, all the little details across the armor, like the protruding sort of uh, little bony crests and bits and bobs like that. All the lens is done with a lovely red as well. And uh, just all the little details of uh, filigree and uh, trim all painted and highlighted through various stages. Uh, so that's just one. We'll pull forward uh, what I would think is one of the champions with a power axe here. Again, just advancing with a commie bolter uh, and obviously this power axe here that you can see, uh, but really cleanly highlighted across all the surfaces of armor, uh, all with their transfers as well, which is just really nice. So that's just uh, another one. Jump across to another squad here. You've got to chat with some plasma, which is uh, really cool. Again, power fist and uh, combi plasma. Again, you can see all the eyes and everything all fully painted uh, on the sort of protruding from the armor, all the sort of bones and skulls and all those things with nice stages of highlighting done on them. I do love the fact that the plasma is orange as well. I just think it really really denotes that and makes it stand out quite nicely. Um, some of my favorite parts from the kit are the uh, lightning claws, which you can see here, and uh, they are very menacing. Uh, you would not want to meet this chap uh, on the battlefield, I don't think, with those claws. <laughs> but yeah, really, really cool. Uh, not too sure about the uh, the Blood Angel helmet on the backpack, though, unfortunately. Uh, I'll say back, but on the backpack. Um, but yeah, really, really nice Terminator. All the fur and everything done with various stages of highlighting also. Um, there's obviously another tent at the back, and I'll start putting forward some of those just so you can see the consistency from miniature to miniature. But every little bit of detail fully painted and fully highlighted. And you've got nice sort of subtle highlighting done on the black armor in a kind of blue-black, which is really really nice and just uh, gives them a very more menacing kind of feel and vibe to them um, just pull forward one more from the back so you can see another one just uh, another chap here with a chain axe uh, just firing away with his uh, his bolter as well Again, really nice execution across all the areas of detail on the model and uh, do hope that you like them ever so much. So that's all the Terminators. The whole entire project is now off to explode from the Citrix Mandictum and uh, give the Imperium a very bad day. Do hope that you like them ever so much. I'll see you soon on the next one for Chaos.
So thanks for watching the video guys, I hope that you have enjoyed it. While you're here on YouTube, help us out by subscribing to the Siege channel. We upload at least three videos a week, so make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video is live. To see more, go follow us on our other social media where you can keep up to date with what we get up to and interact with us. If you're looking to learn from us, we offer online tuition on Patreon and physical classes nationally in the UK. Finally, to get your free quote today, click the link in the description of this video. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.